these last 24 hours, it was not looking good. Looking yeah, a lot better now. <laughs> it's a much more beautiful night out there tonight, right? That blanket yes. of snow, the roads doing a OK. How about we take you up to Algona? Pretty shot there. They had a little less snow up in Kasuth County, but just about everybody saw a bit of snow with the heaviest amounts along the I-80 corridor. West winds at eight feels like temperature in Algona at three tonight. Most of us headed down to single digits. Some of us already there where the skies have cleared. There's reports of single digit temperatures already. Some of the rest of us in the clouds. Once those clouds move out, we'll head down to those single digit readings. 12 hour forecast. I started it at noon because then it takes you through midnight. Temperatures in the 20s throughout the day with sunshine. A few clouds filter in late on New Year's Eve. It'll be dry across the state. Uh, temperatures when the clock strikes 12 at 17 degrees. Now you head down to the south around Kirksville, Missouri, over towards Cameron there on Highway 36. Winter storm watch goes in effect at 9 o'clock tomorrow through 6 o'clock Friday. This system extends all the way down into northern Mexico. So our system from yesterday moves out. High pressure slides through and this low churns up in through Texas and Oklahoma as you head into New Year's Eve. Again, dry here in Iowa. Watch what happens New Year's morning. It looks like a mix southeastern Iowa snow moving in pivots off to the west. Right now it looks like there'll be a sharp edge and most of this should stay out of central Iowa pulls out Friday night and then Saturday cooler temperatures. But I do think we'll see some sunshine again. The latest trend based on the present storm track and obviously this has got a long way to go as it's in northern Mexico is anywhere from two to five inches of snow from Lamoni, Atumwa, Iowa City up and through Dubuque and the Quad Cities and missing now quite a bit here in central Iowa. You can see it in this picture a bit better. Look at higher totals, Oskaloosa, Montezuma, but then it cuts off dramatically. Again, this based on the present storm track, 60 miles one way that pushes the snow over the metro 60 miles the other way and it pulls it out of Oskaloosa. It's kind of a wait and see thing as it moves on in, but it is going to bring some snow and again that trend east and southeast. Patchy fog down to eight degrees tonight. Tomorrow sunshine out there. High 25 southeast wind at five to 10. Sunny skies and aims. Pretty day ahead. Osceola, you had a lot of snow. 29, you'll start melting more of that. 30 in Bedford. Harlan, mostly sunny skies. High in Jefferson, 27. Esterville, you'll have sunshine. Cool day in Marshalltown, low 20s. That's below normal for this time of year. Highs in Bloomfield, 29. Princeton, Missouri at 32 degrees. Eight day forecast. Again, the system on Friday, better chances east and southeast as we bring in the new year. Weekend dry, 30s next week. System on Wednesday, not a great chance for the Metro, but this would be one to watch for northwestern Iowa. All right, thanks, Curtis.